The family, like many others, was hit hard by the 2008 financial crisis. They lived in California, and the father made a living by being a non-line freelancer. The mother. Same thing, but, now they had to make the most out of their wage to barely make ends meet. Each month, and considering they lived in the most expensive state in the country, their lifestyle was unsustainable. They had to move, to a much more accessible place, like Texas, to a lower medium, class house. Toby nowadays is about the age of 20 but back, then, he was just, 8. He recounts, having a terrible feeling, since the first moment he set foot in, that, house. Not health wise, but spiritually. He felt horribly anxious, something in his head was telling him, that something bad would happen, at any moment. A sense of impending doom? And this was the seed that started to germinate inside the kid, ever since he moved, to his new home, he came to his lowest point when, during the second week after moving. The boy started to wake his parents up with his screams. <coughs> Toby was terrified, he hopped Larry, his dog. You see, it's very easy to brush off a child, and assume, that sometimes the scenarios they describe, are a product of their imagination. Put yourself in the parents' shoes. Far from being villains, keep in mind, that maybe, even you, would think this way, because when Toby said he saw the closet open slowly in the dark. Like if there was someone inside. It was easy to chalk it up as the stress from moving away, or the new school, etc etc. But. Why was Larry barking so ferociously at the closet? Was it just a wind? Also affected by the move, the father's mood was increasingly worsening. The mother was more understanding, she wanted details. The kid told the same story, at least two or three times a week. But now, it wasn't just that the closet opened by itself. In fact, sometimes he woke up and the closet was already open. That wasn't the worst part, the worst part was that, now. A hideous old man appeared, staring at him with desire from inside the closet. <coughs> Toby remembers one night waking up to the sound of his parents having a horrible fight, in their room, as he listened, he learned, it was due to his mom believing, him which angered his father, and not only that, the mother claimed to also, feel a very strange presence in the house, something dreadful. Something twisted. Toby's life became miserable, but not everything was bad, his father only needed an incentive to right his wrongs. He was sitting with his lawyer, and the guy that was selling the house to him, signing the last payment, when casually the topic came up. Toby's father asked. Where is the belt for the house's storage water heater? I'm sorry, I don't know. Like I said, I never lived there. The owner responded. Damn. You have no idea. No. I didn't have a good relationship with my dad. You see. He said while looking at the law here. I didn't want my kids to be anywhere near him. It was obvious that when this guy's father died, the house was inherited to him. And now he was selling it. Then, Toby's father asked curiously. You didn't want your kids near their grandpa. What happened to your dad? My father was a bastard. A pedophile that died of cancer, before being formally charged for possession of child pornography. When Toby's father did further research, reading the news, he found out that the sinister man, kept all his, child pornography, in the place that would become his son's closet. After six long months, Toby's father managed to, sell the house. And even made a profit in doing so. During that six-month time lapse, he gladly invited his son and Larry 
to sleep in the couple's bed.